Look at this awesome tornado effect, wow! And now when you look in the sky, you made a really, really awesome effect. And there we have it, interactable blocks. A working custom portal. So you go into this one and you teleport out the orange one. And you go back in this one, you go out the awesome purple portal. This is even cooler, wow! Press wherever you want. And there you have it, a working custom harpoon. First I'm gonna show you to make working collectible coins. Not only is it really cool, it's extremely simple to make. So first make sure blocks are anchored to merge level to red, why not? Then select and place the plastic block and scale to be in the air. There we go. Make it a full block like that. Next set the scale number over here to be 0.86. I know it's an odd number, but it works perfectly for this for some reason. Now on these two sides, scale down the plastic block with the scale number. Like this. So 1, 2 and 1, 2. There we go, just like that. Now select the travel tool, select the cone setting, clone it up. Rotate it 15 degrees like that, boom. And then just clone these two parts until you have a circle, like this. Let's remove these two parts. There we go, now we have a plastic circle. Paint it whatever color you want, then make a design on it if you want. There we go, looks like a Mario coin kind of. Let's go! Now just clone this part for however many disappearing coins as you want. That's looking good, now save. You don't have to save since it's very simple and easy to do, but up to you. And now when we unanchor all, oh, I probably should have made the coins more spaced out. Does it work though? It does with the hell? It's actually really cool, wow. Let's put them in a tall tower, that way when they drop they'll space out by themselves. And try again. Let's make a box around the coins just in case. That way they won't get flung out. And now when we unanchor all, and move the box, we have working collectible coins. Very awesome. Oh, what did he load it in? Why is it very laggy? Um, let's read the sign. Do not press, I heard it makes you rich. I want to be rich. YouTube doesn't really pay very well. But that's alright, I make these videos for you guys. Alright, let's press it. Wait, what? Whoa, that's a lot of money and a lot of different types of money. Wait, so there's cash, there's gold coins, and there's silver coins, and all of it can be collected just like that. I'm rich, let's go! Okay, now I'm gonna show you to make custom portals. Not even kidding, let's do it. As always, make sure blocks ranker and turn double thread. There we go, and place two blocks, boom, boom. Then a wheel like this, has to be this wheel. Now select the Sonic Jet, this one over here. Tilt it once and rotate it like that, and then place it like that. Actually, it has to be a bit lower, uh, just like that, as you can see. Now select the portal, as you would expect, and place it over here, as you can see. So a bit in front of the Sonic Jet, has to be centered like this, as you can see. Then select the shower tool, make sure number over here is one, and move it over here inside the Sonic Jet, just like that. Now select it again with travel tool, then set the scale over here to 10.5, then move it over twice at right, like this. So one, two, just like that. Wait, I got something exciting to show you guys. I know you guys are Roblox players, and because of that, being a chat sometimes may get lonely. Don't worry, I got just a thing for you. Introducing Blocks Buddies, the best Robux plushies money can buy at a very affordable price. They're big, cute, soft plushies and come in all different types. Do you remember when guests were a thing on Robux? Well, they're back in real life plushie form. Mr. the OG Robux noobs, boom, new plushie, bacon here, right here. I even got one for myself. Here's a size comparison next to my YouTube play button. Go copy your plushie in the description below or at BlocksBuddies.com. Alright, back to the video. Now take the piston and rotate and tilt it to be like that and place two of them. Just like that, as you can see. Then select any block and place one on the piston over here and connect it to the ground, just like that. There we go. Now, very important, select this portal with the travel tool, then set the scale number over here to 0.1 and move it up once. But what does matter is that it's not touching the ground, as you can see, very important. Now paint it whatever color you want. If you want to, it doesn't really matter. You know what else is red? The subscribe button. Please like and subscribe. I post some awesome videos, as you can see, and it really helps me out. You won't regret it, trust me. And you can always unsubscribe. Thanks. Now we're gonna select all this with the travel tool and clone it over to wherever you want the second portal to be. I'm gonna clone it over here next to the water. You can also make this custom portal without using the travel tool, it'll just take a bit longer. So without the travel tool, instead of cloning it over, you just build the same exact thing you built there over here. Anyway, now replace the sonic jet with the red jet. Oh, uh, still too high, let's make it like that. There we go, just like that. If you want to, you can keep the sonic jet, but I think it's pretty cool to have a color variance, so this portal is red and that one over there is purple. You'll see in a second what I mean and why it's so cool. Also make sure these two portals are the same color. Now go through this portal, place the switch here. Should be binded to everything. If it isn't, then bind it to everything. Okay, we're gonna do a few things. So first we're gonna select that with the screwdriver tool. We're gonna set the piston speed to 10. We're gonna make everything unanchored and uncollidable. And you're gonna turn cash shadow off as well. Important, you have to make both jets, jet force, unread. So the low setting over here. Then, go in this portal again. And now for every sonic jet you placed, it's only one here for me. We're gonna make this jet speed only five. The low speed. Here, actually, I'm gonna move this switch over here. Why not? Now, whenever you want, make everything invisible. Except the switch, of course. There we go. And save. 
And now, whenever you load it in and press the switch, you have a working custom portal. So you go into this one and you teleport out the orange one. And you go back in this one, you go out the awesome purple portal. Very cool. After some time though, the red jet will run out of fuel. As you can see, it ran out of fuel now, so yeah. But you can do this instead. You can also use Dragon Harpoon instead of jets to get a really, really cool, real Doctor Strange portal design, like this. Make sure to not touch the ground as you can see, that way the wheel can actually spin. Also very important to unbind both of the Dragon Harpoons. From the switch, everything collidable and transparent. There we go. And now when you press the switch, you have a working Doctor Strange portal. You go inside and it teleports you out this end. Pretty cool. Thank you to this comment for inspiring me to make this awesome trick. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for, the custom tornado trick. But there's so many more crazy tricks to show after, so keep watching. Okay, first make sure blocks are anchored. And over here, at about the middle of the plot, place a wheel facing up. I recommend this old wheel. Now select any block that you have about 500 or more of. I'm gonna go with wood, I have about a thousand of that. Place it on top of the wheel. I recommend this be a light block like wood or plastic, but I don't have enough plastic, so I'll use wood. Now place a pair of wings or a jetpack, equip that. Now scale this block you just placed to be as high as you want the sky trail to be. I think about this height is good. Now place another block on top and scale this block to be the size of the plot. Oh, I clearly don't have enough of this. So I'm gonna set a scale number here to zero and make it very thin. And now I should have more than enough blocks to cover the entire plot. At this point, I recommend you make everything half transparent. Now, choose either the Sonic Jet or the Red Jet. Or if you want to make a snowflake tornado, you can try the Winter Jet instead. Alright, next place the max amount of the jet that you chose diagonally like this. Then just clone these jets using any method you want. If you don't know how to clone it all by this point, it's pretty simple. Just save the build on any slot. Connect the jets to yourself using a cake and a flying glitch. Fly to the stages. Reload the slot. Fly back. Position the seat at a spot that will align the jets. And repeat this process until you have about 70 jets in total, more or less. If you don't understand any of this, just watch a video on YouTube called Buildable Duplication Glitch. But it gets much crazier from here. Watch. Okay, now as you can see, he's spacing some jets out. And basically what this is doing is it's making a very, very interesting trail shape. You can do the same and space them out randomly or in a pattern. And then see what awesome trail pattern it makes in the sky. Let's check out what this makes. Okay, now set the wheel speed to any number between 5 and 50. Make everything invisible as you can see. Make sure everything's unanchored as well. And now when you press the switch, and a look in the sky. Oh. You have a really, really awesome trail effect. <laughs> look at this. So awesome. Looks even cooler when the alien is off. To make a tornado trail instead of just a huge circle in the sky, make the pole on the wheel tilted like 15 degrees. Then just pile up jets on the pole as you can see. If you don't have enough, you can clone the jets just like I showed. Let's see how that turns out. Huge, huge thanks to Kvaz over here for finding this awesome glitch, and also the collectible coins glitch, and the hockey glitch that I'm going to show later on. He has a bunch of jets so he doesn't have to duplicate them. Alright, let's try this out. 3, 2, 1. What the hell is that? That is so much cooler than I expected to be. Look at this awesome tornado effect. Wow. I did not expect this to be possible in Buildable. Wow. Okay, let's try to make it even cooler by mixing some jets to make different colors. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Look at the outside. Um, when some of the jets run out of fuel, it kind of looks even cooler. It's like half a tornado now, still spinning. Very interesting. Okay, let's try this multicolor tornado effect. Oh my gosh. Look at this. This is even cooler. Wow. Absolutely incredible. As cool as this is, you can make your own awesome designs by spreading out the jets even more in them. What the hell? The red jets ran out of fuel, so now it's just the Sonic Jets doing the trail. You can also probably make an orange trail using Dragon Harpoons and a fire trail using a bunch of torches. Next is interactive blocks. Very simple to make, but also really cool. First, place a soccer ball. Place a hinge on top like this. Now place any block on top of the hinge. Make everything except the block invisible. And unanchored. Then make the soccer ball uncollidable. Unanchor all, and you have an interactable block. Just get close to it and spam the E key. That's simple. And there we have it, interactable blocks. Wait, what if you get inside a snow cannon that's attached to the soccer ball and then spam me? <laughs> what? It works? What the hell? I did not expect this to work. Uh, thank you to Wombulus for telling me about the trick. Okay guys, I want to show you to make custom harpoons. It's as cool as it sounds, let's get into it. All right, first as always, make sure box are anchored and turn merge of a thread. Then set the rotating setting to 15. Select the golden harpoon, or if you want, you can do the dragon harpoon. Then tilt downwards, press T on the computer, once. There we go, and place it. So, now as you can see, the top of the harpoon is straight, like that. Now turn match rotation on and set the rotating setting back to 90, like that. Select the hinge and on the tip of the harpoon over here, rotate it towards the tip of the harpoon, uh, like that, there we go, as you can see. Now do the same on this side, on top, like that. As you can see, it should be facing inwards, like that, just like this. Now select the plastic block, or if you want wood block, and place one in this hinge, and one in this hinge. Now another here, and another here. 
one here, one here, one here, and one here. As you can see, we kind of connected it like that. Now turn match rotation off, and now we're going to build your custom tip of Darapoon. So I recommend selecting metal, but you can do any block you want. Place one about here, as you can see. Place one here, and now we can actually start building the tip of Darapoon. I'm going to build mine like this, but you can use any design you want. Feel free to experiment and have fun. There we go. Looks pretty cool. Now we're going to place a block here, but very important, select this block with the scale tool. Then set the scale number over here to, let's say, 0.1, a very small number. Then scale it once this way, and now as you can see, there's a very, very small gap in between this block and this block over here. Now select it again with scale tool, let's set the scale number back to 1, and let's scale like this. Let's make it like that, and like that. And now as you can see, we're making the base of the harpoon, so this part over here. Make the design, whatever you want. There we go, that looks pretty cool and simple. Now paint as you wish. There we go. Now obviously just make these parts transparent. So the plastic blocks, both hinges, and the harpoon itself. Make that invisible. Okay, actually I'm going to scale this block to be like that. Very important, make sure that there's a gap over here, otherwise your custom harpoon won't work. Okay, now place the switch or lever, whatever you want. Unlink your all, and if you want, save. Now, whenever you load it in, press the switch, and press wherever you want, and there you have it, a working custom harpoon. Like a regular harpoon, you can retract it by constantly spamming the <laughs> switch. There we go. Let's shoot at the creator of this awesome harpoon glitch, Godzilla over here. Look at this dude. Really quickly before going to the next trick, you can also make a custom harpoon gun like this. So you eat a red candy, then you attach a custom harpoon gun to yourself using a butter block as you can see over here. And then you have a working custom harpoon gun. Luckily I got my custom harpoon gun equipped and let me shoot him. <laughs> I got him now. Huge shaking into Godzilla 1234P for finding this awesome custom harpoon trick. There's also this really cool hockey trick I want to show you. Just make a circle the same way that it showed in the coin trick, but this time make it out of wood, and then add an ice block beneath it. Make the scale number 0.1 and then scale it all the way like that. Then add a plastic block above this wooden circle. Make the plastic block and the ice invisible. Keep everything collatable though. Now unanchor all. Place let's say two blocks, a seat on top, send a seat, place a kick and jump, and now you can make your hockey stick like this. So place a wooden block here, select the scale tool, keep the scale number at 0.1, let's make it like that, there we go, and like that. Then scale it all the way down until it's at your feet, here actually we can move this, there we go. But make sure it's not beneath your feet, otherwise it'll glitch out, here actually let's make it a... like that, there we go. And let's make this one as well, like that, not beneath our feet. Now remove the seat, make all of this unanchored, make the cake invisible. Paint it whatever color you want, and the hockey puck as well. And you now have a working hockey puck and hockey stick. Oh, it doesn't slide that much because we didn't make a nice floor, so let's do that. Anchor this, move this up like that. Make sure the ice is very thin, that way you can make it as big as possible while using as little blocks as possible, and it won't look like you're playing hockey in the air. There we go, unanchor this, make the floor invisible. And now when we eat a speed candy, we can play hockey with a working sliding hockey puck. Even playing on your own like this is so fun. Oh, 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 I'm gonna score, I'm gonna score, I'm gonna score. Let's go, let's score! Oh no, he's got it, no, 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 come on, come on, come on, nope. I see what he's doing, he's adding ice beneath his body and then covering his body with butter box. That way the ice is connected to his body. Oh my gosh, look at that. A working human hockey disc. But it's quite laggy, as you can see. Oh wait, what? Other box can also be like hockey box? What? Okay, let's try these blocks. Nah, it seems they're too heavy. I mean, the plushie works is very small and light, but it will be a lot smoother if we added a thin ice block underneath all the blocks. Okay, now we turn collision on for the battle box inside of his avatar, and it actually works better as you can see. Okay, now I'm gonna show you another really simple trick that literally just takes like 10 seconds to do. Unanchor blocks and turn match rotation on, like that. Then you get another player on your team, place a hinge facing down on top of the player, like that. Then anchor blocks, just like any regular block like wood, and place it underneath that hinge, like that. So basically inside their head, like that. Now select that block with the travel tool, make sure move settings selected, and move it wherever you want. Okay, let's make this transparent, and there you go, you can literally just move players. Pretty cool, and very simple. Now he's slowly going towards the block, 